today's lesson, Zechariah teaches that we are called to repent and show compassion, justice, and mercy toward one another. As with all of his prophets, God called Zechariah for a specific purpose. He wanted Zechariah to proclaim his word to the small remnant of Jews who had returned to Judah from exile to rebuild the temple and their nation. He also wanted to help them by pointing out and explaining the consequences of their sin and calling the Israelites to repentance and obedience. Here, Zechariah shares the first of eight visions that God gave him through the night. And that brings us to our key verse for today, which reads, Therefore say to the people, This is what the Lord of Heaven's army says. Return to me, and I will return to you, says the Lord of Heaven's armies. Zechariah chapter 1, verse 3. The Hebrew phrase davar, here translated as came the word, is a common way to referring to Jehovah's communication through his prophets by means of his spirit. The Bible reader should avoid the other extreme of believing that God somehow dictated his words directly to a prophet in a way that ignored the prophet's personality or background altogether. Even a shallow reading of Zechariah or of any other prophetic book for that matter, will show that the prophet's personal characteristics are reflected in his prophecy. There is surely some mystery here, but the prophecies and the prophets spoke as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. With this process of moving, neither wiping out the personality of the prophet, nor allowing the prophet's sinfulness and weakness to override the perfect transmission of God's holy word. Without giving much detail, Zechariah establishes the fact that the Israelites as a nation have been wayward and the Lord owes them nothing. Even though God owes these people nothing, God is offering them everything, if only they will turn to him. The great and terrible king issues a command, but that command is full of grace and compassion. The king's simple command is to turn, carrying the idea of turning back or returning, meaning that the one invited is not facing him, but has his back turned toward him. Even though God's unfaithful people and even the faithful messengers sent to them have been blown away and have withered like the flowers of the field, one thing still remains, the enduring word of the Lord. The victory of the conquering warrior, the Lord of hosts, is evident in the prevailing power and truth of his promises, decrees, and warnings. Zechariah presents these holy words as take Hold, meaning to reach, overtake, take hold upon. Thus, God's word did not take hold upon the people's rebellious fathers. Although many of Israel's leaders and prophets insisted for a long time that God's holy city and nation could not possibly fall, they soon saw the light, although spurned more times than anyone could possibly count. The great lover of Israel will return to his bride once again as they return to him. At this point in the book of Zechariah, the building of the temple is well underway, so that in one sense God's people are showing responsiveness and obedience to his command. However, it is clear from the Lord's word through Zechariah that true covenant faithfulness is absent, as evidenced by the failure of the people to demonstrate justice and kindness horizontally in community. Zechariah's call for justice rather than oppression repeats the calls of the prophets before the exile, as well as God's command to show mercy to the helpless. As Zechariah now stands among the people to whom God has shown great mercy and to whom he has restored their land, his warnings and promises focus on making sure that the people retain the blessedness promised to them. So here's our lesson. Every day we meet people who harden their hearts when it comes to hearing the word of the Lord. However, Zechariah says that when we return to the Lord, the wholeness and happiness we have in God, in Him, leads to a right relationship and true worship of Him. We must be patient and walk with the Lord, and as we do so, He will keep us and encourage us in times of rejection and discord. Hey, thank you so much for listening and subscribing to my likes. Heavenly Father, fill our hearts with what we truly desire, for who we truly seek is you.